Signs of anxious attachment. Signs of anxious attachment style. How to spot and address attachment issues. Do you find yourself constantly worried about your relationships? Do you fear abandonment or rejection from your partner? Do you feel the need for constant reassurance and validation in your relationships? If this sounds familiar, you may have an anxious attachment style. Anxious attachment is one of the three main attachment styles first identified in attachment theory by psychologist John Bowlby. Those with an anxious attachment tend to fear rejection and abandonment, desperately seek closeness and intimacy, and require constant reassurance from their partners. In this video, we'll explore the signs and behaviors associated with anxious attachment, where they stem from, and strategies to address them. Gaining awareness of your attachment style is the first step to forming secure, healthy relationships. Let's get started. Sign 1. You have an intense fear of abandonment. For those with an anxious attachment style, abandonment is their greatest fear. You may constantly worry that your partner will leave you, cheat on you, or stop loving you. You likely experience severe anxiety when you feel your partner pulling away or distancing themselves. This deep-rooted fear can stem from inconsistent caregiving in childhood. If your earliest caregivers were unpredictably available, you may have learned that intimacy cannot be relied upon. This lingers into adulthood as a constant worry over losing intimacy. Sign 2. You require constant reassurance and validation. Since you don't trust in your partner's availability, you constantly seek reassurance that they still love and want you. You may excessively check in with questions like, do you still love me? Or repeatedly ask for compliments, hugs, kisses, or other displays of affection. Too little reassurance can quickly spiral into feelings of neglect, so you vigilantly monitor your partner's investment. This excessive need for validation reflects the insecure attachment patterns established in childhood. Sign 3. You have difficulty tolerating your partner's absence. For those with an anxious attachment, time apart from their partner can be extremely difficult. You may count down the minutes until you see them again, or obsessively track their activity on social media for signs that they miss you too. Being alone leaves you alone with your thoughts, amplifying worries of abandonment. You may also have an extreme aversion to singlehood, jumping from relationship to relationship. Tolerating aloneness feels dangerous. Sign 4. You crave emotional intimacy and closeness. While avoidantly attached individuals equate intimacy with smothering, you view intimacy as the ultimate source of security in a relationship. You desperately seek closeness through deep emotional sharing, physical affection, words of affirmation, and quality time together. However, you may confuse closeness with dependency, losing your sense of self in relationships. Your unmet childhood needs create a craving for the nurturing you missed out on. Sign 5. You have difficulty trusting your partner. No matter how reliable your partner has been, you may still struggle to trust them completely. You carefully monitor their words and behaviors for any slight evidence that they're untrustworthy or planning to leave. Things like working late, having drinks with friends, or going on trips alone can provoke deep mistrust. You may also frequently suspect infidelity with little cause. Sign 6. You have low self-esteem. Since your parents were unable to provide a sense of emotional security and self-worth, you likely grapple with chronic low self-esteem. You may call yourself too needy, not attractive enough, unworthy of love. Rather than soothing your insecurities, you seek out partners who will validate your attractiveness and worth. However, until you address the root of your self-esteem issues, these outer fixes will not resolve them. Sign 7. You are a people pleaser. In hopes of securing your partner's affection, you may go to great lengths to please them. You readily comply with their wishes, mold yourself into their ideal partner, and avoid ever rocking the boat, voicing needs, or asserting boundaries. However, this compromises your integrity and builds resentment. People pleasing reflects a desperation to be chosen and validated due to childhood emotional neglect. Sign 8. You have trouble expressing your needs. Directly asking for your needs to be met may feel terribly risky. Your partner could either dismiss your needs or feel burdened by them and pull away. This fear causes you to keep a lid on your needs and emotions. However, hinting at your needs through complaining or passive aggression breeds more misunderstanding and discord. Learn to express your needs kindly and clearly. Sign 9. You struggle with jealousy. You may frequently feel jealous of your partner's attention on anything other than you, whether it be hobbies, friends, family, or work. This surfaces the fear that their investment is elsewhere. You will lose them. Jealousy also flare when your partner mentions past partners, inside jokes with friends, or attends social events without you. At the root is fear of abandonment. Sign 10. You have rocky relationship patterns. The ways an anxious attachment style manifests can sabotage relationships. Your neediness and mistrust may eventually drive partners away. Or you may abruptly end things the second trouble appears to protect yourself. 
You may also gravitate towards avoidance, hoping your pursuit will secure their investment, but only experience repeated rejection from them. Understanding these patterns is key. Where does anxious attachment come from? According to attachment theory pioneer John Bowlby, our attachment patterns form in infancy and early childhood based on how our caregivers respond to our needs. If your earliest experiences were full of inconsistent attention, perhaps a parent was sometimes loving and sometimes distracted, or rejecting you likely learned that intimacy cannot be relied upon. Your anxious system is always on high alert for threats to intimacy. How can anxious attachment be healed? The good news is that even if your attachment patterns solidified in childhood, new experiences can reshape them. Here are some tips. Seek therapy to understand your emotional triggers and relationship patterns. A therapist provides a consistent, attuned presence. Make sure your partner understands attachment theory. Educate them on anxious attachment behaviors so they do not take them personally. Practice expressing your attachment needs kindly such as asking for a hug when you're feeling anxious. Work on self-soothing skills like deep breathing, affirmations, or journaling to calm your anxieties. When you catch yourself people pleasing or clinging, pause and refocus on taking care of yourself. Build your self-worth outside of relationships through hobbies, passions, classes, volunteering, etc. If the signs of anxious attachment resonate with you, understand that this is common and can be addressed through self-work. You deserve secure, drama-free relationships. With compassion, communication, and therapeutic tools, you can interrupt ingrained attachment patterns and develop earned security. We explored the top signs of an anxious attachment style like fearing abandonment, requiring constant reassurance, and struggling with jealousy and self-esteem issues. This style develops from inconsistent caregiving, but new relational experiences can help reshape it. Gaining awareness of your attachment tendencies is the first step. From there, you can learn tools to manage anxieties, communicate needs effectively, and cultivate a positive self-image. Healing your attachment style requires courage, but it allows for deeper intimacy and security.